Hello YouTube, this is Warcloud FF bringing another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. I went after work this morning, traveled to eight more different stores to try to find some more Yu-Gi-Oh! packs, especially the Tuned Chaos. Unfortunately, I found four out of eight stores. So, whatever. If you guys are wondering why I don't buy the uh, booster box online, it's 150 bucks plus tax, and that's a lot of money. Considering these packs here are four dollars a piece. If you guys do the math, four times 24 is only 96 dollars plus tax, which would be about 102. Well, if you're speaking, and my professional opinion. <coughs> That's actually a lot better deal, but for those who can't do that and need it now, well, I have no idea. I, I know the reason why they're super high is because it's our high demand, low supply, I assume that's the reason. And besides, the collector rare hollow foils are super expensive. So, spend 150 bucks it is kind of like a no-brainer to try to get a $300 card. I understand. I've done that with other series of packs. So, and the other pack I got to, moving on, is Legendary Duel Sister of the Roses. I found one left at Walmart and a clearance bin, and I said, What the hell, and bought it. I was just to buy more of them, but they only had one available, so. Yeah. We'll save this one to the end. I'm going to start these first. Let's go with the first pack and see what we get inside. So we got Elemental Hero Solid Sorter. We have Gemini Abyssin. We have Envy of the Even Twilight, Fight for Muster, Chaos Zone, which I actually do need another one of these, so that works out great. Sign again, and Vapor. Put these off to the side. Let's try another pack. <coughs> Let's try GameStop too, but they didn't have any as well, so. Yeah. And since the pandemic, all the stupid. Nah, no, let me phrase that better. Not stupid, because all the shutdowns. The card stores that I usually live by are not operating at the moment. So, getting cards and packs are kind of hard too at the moment, besides what Walmart carries, GameStop, and Target. And Myers. So, I am kind of limited, besides online buying, which I'm trying to avoid as best as I can. Because the price point doesn't really add up. Which you guys can probably understand, so. Without further ado, moving on. Side frame driver. Jemai Ambition. Dan. And Flamer Knight. Warlin. True King. Draw that road. Which I'm keeping that one because I do always love using these in battle. And. Scared Soldier. I like Solid Road mainly because it protects a lot of cards. And you get to special summon a Solid Dragon from your deck. Oh, well, extra deck, but still. It's really pretty badass. Alrighty. I am never lucky to open these packs up. <laughs> they rip one way or rip the other way on me. Alright, we have Dan, Light Pressure Dragon, Curse of Dragon Fire. Microcoder. 
Oops. True King. I'm not still that road. And another sacred soldier. Last pack. Let's see what happens. Let's open this upside down just for sits and giggles. Alrighty. What's of the Black Forest? And we have Twilight. Um, yeah, Hero Blast. Toon Terra, which I can use. Then we got Mud Dragon. Toon Ward. And we have Chaos. So. There's the Toon Chaos. Now, for the last pack. Sisters of Roses. I say last pack, since there are two of them in here. I guess something interesting to go with that, to just go with the season one uh, legendary duelist set. So here we got Erickson Egotis, that egotist. We have Lunar Light Leo Dancer. Rufflin Railcard. We have a Lauren Mirror Split. And Maneficent Racine Angel. Now for the last pack. We have Blue Rose Dragon, Ruffle Rail Card, Little Knight Keto Chick, Little Light Cat Dancer, and Little Light Yellow Martin. So, yeah, there we go. Surprisingly, all, all the cards are uh, probably keeping. I'll probably keep this one because it kind of reminds me of anime. I don't think the other ones do really do that often. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just keep this one out of the, all the bunch. So the cards I'm keeping. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, unwrapping video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Team Chaos and Sister of the Roses. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think is your favorite card out of the pool. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.